My name is Milton Key, and I've been a member of the Grace Presbyterian Church family since May of 2012. I'm blessed to have been born into a family of believers, and at a young age, I was able to understand that I needed a Savior in Jesus Christ. And that was indeed a transformational time in my life, one of a few that I would have to say over the course of my lifetime had been truly transformational and holy. Other transformational times in my life when the Lord has really shown up in a very powerful way certainly was after, uh, as a young man, after a failed marriage that led me into quite a search over a period of years, soul searching that is, and uh, culminated in the, uh, in the form of my beautiful wife, Deborah, who has been with me and at my side for 24 years. And then as a couple, we certainly... Uh, were transformed through the process of trying to become parents over several years and then being blessed with the miracle of our daughter, Joanna. So while there have certainly been a few transformational experiences in my life as a follower of Christ, I'd have to say that the real transformation is over time, and I would describe my journey of faith as more of a walk, lots of times it's a crawl, sometimes it's a run, but it is always about faithfulness. And quite frankly, I think it's more about God's faithfulness to me than my faithfulness to Him. And I have certainly learned the meaning of grace through a lifetime of trying to be faithful. God's faithfulness to me has been daily, while my faithfulness to Him seems to be more of an on and off experience. But I have to say one of the things that I love about our church is the opportunity that I have to see God's faithfulness in action and his people's faithfulness in action on a regular basis. I think of so many servants here like Coy Donald, Melvin Turner, Terry Waite, Susan Delaney, Shirley Gunn, and so many others. This is a place where our faith journeys can be fed and nourished and coveted in prayer and where we can be loved and where we can experience the transformational love of Christ. So in closing, I'd like to share a scripture about faithfulness since that's so much of my transformation. Out of 1 Corinthians chapter 1, starting with verse 4. St. Paul tells the church there, I always thank God for you because of his grace given you in Christ Jesus. For in him you have been enriched in every way, in all your speaking and in all your knowledge, because our testimony about Christ was confirmed in you. Therefore you do not lack any spiritual gift as you eagerly wait for our Lord Jesus Christ to be revealed. He will keep you strong to the end so that you will be blameless on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God, who has called you into fellowship with his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, is faithful.